Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric, and one of my favorite things to gawk at when I go to a national park is waterfalls. These cascades are just beautiful to look at, and I'm going to talk about what I think are the top 10 waterfalls in U.S. national parks. A few caveats, first of all, this is limited to ones I've seen. I've not seen quite a few good ones. For example, Waimoku Falls and Haleakala National Park in Maui. I'm trying to keep it to one waterfall per park, so Yosemite will not take up the entire list and such. And mainly sticking with named, recognizable waterfalls is also an important note. So while there are some nice ones you might see alongside a road, they're not going to be on the list if they're not really well-known or named ones. Now a few honorable mentions, ones that are not in national parks, that are among the most beautiful waterfalls in the world. Multnomah Falls in Oregon, Niagara Falls over at the New York-Canada border, Akaka Falls in Hawaii, and Shoshone Falls in Idaho. Now let's get into the list. Number 10 is Brooks Falls in Katmai National Park in Alaska. This one is a bit of a cheat. I love the bear fishing that you can see here. The bear is getting salmon right next to the waterfall or on top of the waterfall. That is a breathtaking sight. The falls themselves are not tall, but they are impressive in the sense that they are a fairly long part of a river gushing down, nice forest surrounding with some mountains in the far back. It's nice to look at. You're not there for the waterfall, but I still think it's a good enough waterfall to make the list. Number 9 is Dark Hollow Falls in Shenandoah National Park in Virginia. Shenandoah has a few nice ones to choose from, but this is my favorite. The way it goes down several different rocks, it kind of makes it seem like steps, and it makes up for the relatively modest height of 70 feet. It feels much taller when you look at it, and it's nice that you can see both the top and bottom of this waterfall. Number 8 is Brandywine Falls in Cuyahoga Valley in Ohio. Cuyahoga Valley is not my favorite national park by any means, but Brandywine Falls is a great star attraction. The rocks seem to form steps in a similar way as they do with Dark Hollow Falls, but in a more unique shape. And this one feels taller, and I would say the perspective, that's part of why it feels like a larger, more imposing and impressive sight than Dark Hollow Falls. It's definitely a wonderful one to look at. Number 7 is Narada Falls at Mount Rainier National Park. Mount Rainier has several to choose from, Myrtle Falls, Comet Falls, but I chose Narada. Narada is the tallest on the list so far, 170 feet, and this is kind of like a larger Brandywine Falls. Similar steps and a nice width to match the height of the falls. And I would say this is my favorite one, the one to see in Mount Rainier, and part of why I love Mount Rainier even outside of just the main peak the park is known for. Number 6 is Hidden Falls in Grand Teton National Park. This is at the end of Inspiration Point Trail, and more or less the beginning of every other major trail in the park. You walk into the mountains to an extent, and once you're there, you look at a 100 foot tall waterfall, but it feels much taller. Taller than Narada, I'd say. On the right, you have Jenny Lake and the rest of Grand Teton. On the left, you have a mountain backdrop, trees on either side. It is a breathtaking one. It is among the most amazing and extraordinary waterfalls I've seen in any national park, and the hike to get there, absolutely worth it. Number five is Tokaba Falls at Sequoia National Park. The hike is similar to Grand Teton's Hidden Falls and that it's not a short walk to get to this one, but man is it worth it. This one is 1,200 feet because of how many different steps it goes down and the great lengths it takes to get there. It's great to see all of that, the water pouring down in such a unique way, the mountain surroundings are my favorite surrounding of any so far, and being able to see this one in winter like I did was an added bonus. It is one of the most beautiful for sure, and Sequoia as a whole has a few hidden gems like this one. Number 4 is the Temple of Sinawava Waterfall of Zion. This is the one that's not really named and not as well known, but it had to get a spot on this list. I didn't know it existed when I first went to the park. We just went to the end of the tram road, and then look up and see some sort of mini Yosemite Falls with the orange Zion rocks surrounding it. Zion Canyon is just an absolutely awe-inspiring sight. So I adored being able to see that with a unique waterfall going down. This is the only one on the list with desert rocks surrounding it. And that unexpected waterfall sighting, one of my favorite experiences I've ever had in any national park. 
Number three is Soldock Falls at Olympic National Park in Washington. This one, believe it or not, is supposedly only 48 feet tall. But the mini canyon it pours into with that rainforest climate, the lush greenery, the three different waterfalls going in because of the way they're separated, I love it. It's one of the highlights of Olympic National Park, a diverse and impressive park in itself, and absolutely a must, and one of my favorite waterfalls, without a doubt, that you can see in the U.S. Number two is Lower Falls of the Yellowstone River at Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. This is not the only good waterfall by any means you can find at the park. Yellowstone has Fairy Falls, it has Tower Falls, it has Undyne Falls, so many. But Lower Falls is a grand, gushing one, 300 feet tall but feels so much bigger, and it's at my favorite national park. The Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone is among the most unbelievable sights in any national park. You have Golden Canyon walls, spiking up as spires at the top, slanting down at unbelievable slopes. And you have the unfathomable energy and power of the Yellowstone River. It is a very loud one to be near, and feeling that power of Mother Nature, it's hard to beat. This one is a grand, awe-inspiring sight, and without a doubt, one of the highlights of not just Yellowstone National Park, but any national park in the world. That said, you may have guessed, number one is Yosemite Falls at Yosemite National Park in California. This was tough because Yosemite had a lot to choose from, and it was not a set-in-stone Yosemite Falls pick. I could have gone with Vernal, I could have gone with Nevada Falls, Rhinelvale Falls is the part of the iconic tunnel view, but I had to go with this one, because no waterfall can top, literally or figuratively, the tallest waterfall in the nation. It is an inspiring piece of nature, maybe the most famous waterfall outside of Niagara in the US. The mist coming off of it can form a rainbow many times a day, you have the granite peaks to look up at, or if you take the Upper Yosemite Falls Trail, look down upon. Being at the top of the waterfall, is a surreal experience, something extraordinary you wouldn't think you'd be able to do. This one is not as wide as something like the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone's Waterfall, or of course as you'd expect, Niagara, but the height makes up for that. And no waterfall in the US quite compares for me, it is among the best things in Yosemite National Park, and as you may have guessed, one of the best individual pieces of nature in the entire country possibly the whole world, and it's definitely something you should try to get to if you get the chance. Thank you for watching this ranking of the best waterfalls in the US. Comment down below your favorite waterfalls, any other videos you want to see, subscribe for more National Park content, I'll see you next time.